Okay, this video is a quick tutorial on how to safely use the acid cleaning and rinsing bath uh, in the analytical laboratory. So the baths are in these three gallon chemical proof buckets here. You can see they're labeled 10% by volume, nitric, bath, and water. Anything that goes in this to be cleaned must be pre-cleaned with soap and water and then triple DI rinse so that you're not adding soap to the system. You can only add plastic or glass to this for obvious reasons. If you add metal, you will dissolve the metal. And so both of these should be completely sealed with an O-ring grommet to prevent evaporation. Uh, these are in water. So what you can do when you're ready to use the bath is to just carefully slide the card out like this. And then you'll reach down here and grab one of the plastic totes that says acid bath only. This is going to be your rinse tote. The other thing that you're going to want to grab are the pair of rubber gauntlets over here. They should be hanging from just zip ties like this. And then the chemical proof apron. Okay, most important thing now is to make sure you have the proper PPE always when working with this bath. That means first, splash-proof goggles, not just regular safety glasses, gloves, chemical apron, and then the gauntlets. The lab coat is an extra optional layer. I like to, just in case, to protect the clothing underneath. Then you want to have whatever you want to wash inside the acid bath tote. Make sure you open up or remove any of the lids before you start. Then you're going to identify the bath that you want to use and remove the lid from the container by unscrewing. You may have to hold the locking mechanism in place as you unscrew on the top lefty Lucy. Set the lid in a safe place and then retrieve the items that you want to wash and dip them into the bath but completely submerge them. Make sure that they're completely filled with the fluid with the acid uh, and be careful not to splash as you're adding these items into the bath. So all items should be completely submerged and then you want an acid bath for metals cleaning needs to be submerged for at least four hours. So typically you want to set this up in the morning or in the afternoon, uh, set a timer for four hours and retrieve your items. Uh, you can run it overnight if you need to, but preferably not more than one night. So we'll pretend here that they've been sitting in there for four hours. So to retrieve the items from the acid bath, again, you're going to grab your clean tote and you will very carefully, without splashing, um, rem uh, empty the containers of the acid and transfer them directly into the tote, being careful not to splash or spill the acid onto uh, any other work surface. Uh, you may have to reach into the bottom to retrieve any uh, items that are smaller. Then you're going to very carefully, without splashing, move over to the sink and put them in the bottom of the sink and turn on the regular tap, let it run, and first thing is to rinse your gauntlets thoroughly so that any uh, residue from the acid bath has been rinsed. Then you can take those off and uh, put them back on the hanger. Go ahead and re-secure the lid, make sure it's tight against the grommet so you prevent evaporation, and then go ahead and wheel the acid baths back into the corner. Now fill the vat with deionized water, triple rinse all of the vessels, and then leave them to dry in air, uh, and then put your acid bath tote back under the bottom of the rack when you are finished.